Since early July 2010, this conservation area on the Hunter River on the outskirts of Oldenburg in northern Germany has become a home to a real showstopper of a house, a house boat to be precise. Hello and welcome to my houseboat. In 2008, furniture designer Sascha Ackermann decided to tackle his first architectural project. This houseboat is a dream come true. I've had to forfeit some creature comforts, but out here on the water there are other factors that matter more. Take the weather. You can enjoy it here on a houseboat more than in a city apartment with a balcony. It's open and surrounded by nature. The open plan kitchen and living room are on the first floor. The bedroom on the second. The houseboat boasts 45 square meters of living space. I've planned the house so that two people could live here, but in the long run, it's small, and you have to get along very well indeed if you're not going to get on each other's nerves. Sascha built the houseboat in just three months, with the help of friends and a few reference books. After a lot of red tape, he secured a permit to anchor his houseboat in the conservation area. The houseboat is built mainly of wood. Thanks to a special coating, it's also environmentally friendly. The facade is sealed with an aluminum granulate that reflects the sun in the summer. And in the winter, it reflects the heat coming from inside, and that regulates the temperature nicely. A wood stove is used to heat the houseboat, and adding to its green credentials, it has its very own wastewater system located just a few meters away on land. Sascha Ackermann designed and made most of the furniture himself. I wanted to create my own kind of luxury with a top quality interior design. The basic idea was to keep it light, to make the room look bigger and more spacious. It's fairly minimalistic, a bit purist, so it's not too overbearing. The space gets to speak for itself. Sasha always wanted to live in the great outdoors. When I saw the birth for the first time, I knew it was perfect. It was a long struggle to get the houseboat here, but I managed, and I love this spot, and I hope I can live here as long as possible. These days, Sascha Ackermann gets regular inquiries from people who'd like him to build them furniture, and perhaps a houseboat too.